I guess the tension would be, uh, you know, this, this idea that Christians shouldn't go after their own. Um, but really, like you said, uh, it's not an ad hominem thing, um, you know, just a, as a kind of a general principle. Um, the purpose of satire, at least as we're doing it most of the time, is to ridicule bad ideas or dangerous ideology. Um, and in this case, from a Christian perspective, uh, it goes a, a little bit further than that and more specific than that to uh, uh, ridiculing and and um, and uh, and picking apart bad theology. Um, and so, like with the prosperity gospel, one of the one of the most viral pieces that we did early on on that topic was about. Uh, after Hurricane Harvey had flooded Houston, uh, we did this piece about how Joel Osteen was sailing his luxury yacht through the flooded streets of Houston to pass out copies of your best life now. Um, and the whole purpose of that is to just uh, highlight the absurdity of this message, your, your best life now, this, go this gospel that doesn't preach everywhere, right? It doesn't, it, you can't preach that gospel to people who's, who, who, are, who are drowning and, and, and you know, their, their homes are, are lost to flooding. Um, you know, you, you don't, you aren't necessarily going to have your best life now. That's not how, th that's not how this yeah. actually works. In fact, Christians can expect to experience a lot of, a lot of hardship and persecution and suffering in this life. Um, and so, you know, we, we do go out of our way, uh, to deal with a lot of these issues and take on theology that we disagree with, uh, in a very direct head on way that can be extremely uncomfortable for Christians who find themselves in these camps or listen to these pastors and preachers. It can be very offensive to them. But if you're bristling at something that we're saying, um, you know, then, then I, I think that we're, we're doing our job. We're, we're, mm. we're making a point. Um, and so, you know, it, it satire is always fine with everyone. They're always entertained by it. They love it. They think it's great right up until the moment when it pokes at something that's important to them uh, and, it, and it hits them personally. And then all of a sudden, no, it's, you went too far. You went too far. I can tell you this. Every single article we publish goes too far in somebody's eyes. And we hear about it all day long in the inbox. You know, we're getting all these yeah. complaints and emails from people. This one went too far. This one went too far. It's just because that particular article touched on something that was really important to them. It was one of their sacred cows. So um, you're always going to have that challenge with satire that you're going to be offending people. But to some extent, that's the point. Um, if we're not offending anyone, then we're certainly not speaking any truth. <laughs> <laughs>